Hi, in this video, I will demonstrate how you can use an external Wi-Fi module such as an ESP12E using MicroPython. I know this is a redundant and not needed because ESP32 has a built-in Wi-Fi capability, but because this module is included in the Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit, I will give it a try. In any ways, this video could also be beneficial for those using a microcontroller without built-in Wi-Fi capability, such as the Raspberry Pi Pico and CM32. ESP12E Wi-Fi module is more commonly known as ESP8266 Node MCU. ESP12E Wi-Fi module can function in the following modes. Station mode, access point mode, and hybrid station and access point mode. For this lesson, I will only demonstrate station mode and access point mode because I am not able to explore the hybrid mode as of this time. This module has four pins, which are GND for the ground pin, VCC for the supply voltage, PX for the UART serial transmit pin, and RX for the UART receive pin. In order to follow this lesson, you will need an ESP32 development board, a Gorilla Cell ESP32 shield, a 4 fin female to female DuPont jumper wires, and of course, the ESP12E Wi Fi module itself. In using the Gorilla Cell development kits, the following should be observed. When attaching the DuPont wires to the module, the color coding should be followed. That is, black for the ground, red for the VCC, yellow for the TX pin, and white for the RX pin. While when attaching the other end of the DuPont wires to the ESP32 shield, match the colors of the wires to the colors of the pin headers, such that black is to black, red is to red, yellow, and the following colors to the yellow pin headers. For this lesson, I choose GPIO25 for the TX pin and GPIO26 for the RX pin. Now for the software part, I prepared here one example to demonstrate the use of the ESP12E Wi-Fi module. This Wi-Fi module is basically controlled using a serial UART, which we include by importing the UART class from the machine module. So we include the pin class from the machine module to access the pins of the ESP32 and of course the sleep MS to create some delays from time module. I also created a class to handle the Wi-Fi messages. Don't worry with it because I prepared it already we just need to modify the main. So up to here is the class. So here I created a pin object named LED, which is connected on GPIO2 with a pin direction set as an output. Then I created a Gorilla Cell Wi-Fi object, which I named Wi-Fi. This is the class I created above. Then, using this object, we instantiate and configured it as a station, which I provided an SSID of my Wi-Fi and the password to connect to it. Then, I started the server, providing it value of 1 for the station and 2 if we use the access point. If you want to use access point, you comment out this line, then just remove this and put number two here. So here, this is the main index. This is the first page that is called transmitted as a reply when a client, a web client, connects to our web server. It displays 
web server in MicroPython. Then it gives two buttons. Later on, you can see it. Then it display the current status of the LED. Basically, in this demonstration, we will see how we can control the onboard LED of the ESP32 using web server, which is through this ESP12E Wi-Fi module. This favicon fades the web client as for an icon. This is the reply that is given. Then here in our main loop, we basically parse the information. So it asks what is the client mode. So this one is 0 to 4. Then the page that is requested. So if the page requested is index page, then we reply the index. Same as for LED1 and LED0 or turn off the LED. And of course, if the favicon is requested, we reply with the favicon page. So here, if LED that value is 1 or if the onboard LED is currently on, we set the LED state to on which is transmitted here as a reply to the web client that is connected. So let me click the run button. It's connecting to my Wi-Fi router. Let's just wait for the IP. Now we have the IP 192.168.0.104. I will open web browser and let's use this IP 192.168.0.104. And it replies the ESP32 web server in MicroPython with two buttons for turning on the onboard LED and for turning off the onboard LED. And it also provided the current state of the onboard LED, which is off. As you can see, the onboard LED here is off. So, if I click the LED on button, the onboard LED is now on. Now, if I click LED off, it should turn off the onboard LED, as you can see here. So let me try again turning on the onboard LED one more time. And the onboard LED is now on. Now let's turn it off again for the last time. And the onboard LED is off. So that's all for now. I hope you found this video as helpful. As always, the source code that is in here including other information can be found in the companion blog post for this video. A tech to tinker.blogspot.com Links in the video description. If you have any concern regarding this lesson, Please write your message in the comment section. Please give this video a thumbs up and share this to your friends so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe because I will be uploading more contents like this in the future. Thank you and have a good day ahead. See you and God bless.